here we are with the one and only Jack Langford. Up from the Osho in the Kansas City. Tell me about the day. Tell me about your day here at uh, UFC. Uh, I went 3-0. Nice. Teched all my kids. Nice. Yeah. Tell me, uh, what, pretty much domination. Yeah. Where, where's the juice? What, where were you able to crush it today? Um, staying mentally tough. Yeah. Because I, I kind of psyched myself up on one match, but uh -huh. I stayed with it. And no. Also, my shots were doing good and scrambling. Crispy, clean shots? Yeah. Nice. How do you, uh, how do you feel, what's the same and what's different than, like, a off-season freestyle tournament versus like a big time in season. The kids are way tougher so, off-season. You think so? Yeah. Why do you think that is? Uh, because I mean, if you really love the sport and you're gonna do it, you're not gonna uh -huh. take any breaks. Nice. So, yeah, all the kids are good here. So you're gonna be a freshman next year? No, I'll be in eighth grade next year. You'll be in eighth grade next year. Yeah. You know, uh, Neo shows. We're white. I know. I grew up in Springfield, mm -hmm. so, and I even wrestled. I don't know if you know Kenny Burleson. He was a Neo show guy. He's an All-American at Mizzou. Um, but uh, I know that the culture there in the Osho is really yeah. strong around wrestling. What's the deal? Um, I mean, everyone just loves it. Yeah. All the coaches are really intense with it. Yeah. Do you know Cody Crocker? No. No? Yeah. Rock, rock. He's the man. He's, he's been out of the scene a little bit down there, but I know he's a the Osho guy. Mm -hmm. All right. What, uh, what are your goals with wrestling? My goal is to be a state champ next year. And... Congratulations. In high school, I want to at least be a two-time. Nice. So where do you where do you got to get better? What do you say uh, the biggest areas you got to work on to uh, hit those oh, goals? Off-season training and doing all three types of wrestling. Yeah. To uh, get better on everything and staying mentally tough. That's one of my big things. Not yeah. giving up if you're losing. How do you train? How do you train that aspect? Um. Just. Always want to think of wrestling while you do it. Yeah. And then know you want to get better. What's the hardest part about wrestling? Um, hardest part of wrestling. I'd say staying mentally tough. Yeah. Because you just want to give up and let the other kid win, but you can't. Yeah, sometimes the silver starts looking good. Yeah. You smack that voice around. Mm. You watching any of the U.S. Open? You yeah, attention? I am. Uh, I just saw Yanni beat Jordan Oliver. Which that was pretty crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. What do you got? Uh, so Zane, one that most people are talking about. Rutherford. Zane Rutherford is wrestling Yanni D tonight. Yeah, I don't. Who you got? I don't even know. They're both really good. Totally but insane. I'm gonna yeah. have to go with Zane. Zane train? Yeah. Yeah. We shall see. All right, you want to wrestle in college? Yeah, yeah. Start thinking about, like, is there any schools that you think you like? Um, I mean, I kind of want to stay close to home, so Oklahoma State maybe, they'd be a really good one. Nice. But that starts with grades. You yeah. do good. It's an important part. Yeah, staying out of trouble too. Cool. What would you tell uh, a new wrestler, someone that just starts wrestling there in year one, what would you be your advice? Stay in it and learn during practice, because it'll be the best thing to do in your life. Cool. Best thing you do in your life. How's it changed your life? Um, knowing that I can't get in trouble whenever I wrestle. Yeah. And knowing that I have good grades to keep wrestling. Cool. Cool, man. Well, hey, thanks for thanks for coming up and yeah, competing, giving some, providing some beatdowns for some guys. Yeah. Anything else that you want to share? Uh, go Wildcats.